So why do elephant skin happen? Well, it happens, it could be because the paste is dry, because the weather where you are, the weather, so it's very dry, the air. It could be because the paste attaching itself very well to the cake, or you are taking too long to bring the paste close to the cake so it can attach itself. Otherwise, what it happens is that it pulls itself down and creates elephant skin. So if your weather is the weather where you are is very dry or your paste is very dry, there isn't much you can do apart from trying to fill in um, the elephant skin. And I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. But if you cover and then you get an area where there is a little bit of elephant skin, for example, here, and there, as soon as you have finished covering your cake, you can go with your fingers and your warm hands and you, what you do, you can bring that paste up and then go back with your finger there. Bring your paste up because what is happening is that the paste is being pulled down. So if you help it back up, it's gonna help you solve that problem. So, Bring it up and always using the warmth of your hands. There isn't anything better than the warmth of your hands. So bring it up and go back and forth on that edge. But when you cover a cake, the first thing you do is to attach the cake around the top edge. That is the first thing that you need to do as quickly as possible. Let's say I covered my cake and my paste is not behaving and I've got so, I mean, then it's still very dry or I didn't realize. You can take some tracks and put it in there. And with your hands, again, the warmth of your hands, bring that paste up and work it. Bring that paste up and work it. And the tracks kind of is going to help the paste. It's going to add moisture. It's going to add, it's like using um, hand cream on your hands. So when it's dry, so it works the same way for the paste. And then you work it. Not a lot of pressure, it's not a lot of pressure, it's more about the movement and the warmth of your hands. It's gonna give you a nice finish. And don't worry about seeing a bit of tracks because the paste will absorb it. Now, if you get it down here, let's see if I can find here. So, using the round side of your smoother, you're gonna bring that paste down. So, so in a motion like that. You're not gonna go like that because you're gonna remove a lot of paste, but just work your way down and then back and forth to smooth it out until it disappears like that. So anything that you have there that's causing some elephant skin. So it's all about working on that paste and going back and forth. Let's say something like that happens as well. So this is a very good paste. It will stick to itself. But also what you can do is add some glue or some people use also water. So for example here, let's say here I'm trying it's an elephant skin and there is a hole and I can't really fix it. So what you do, I'm gonna cut some. And I've done this even for wedding cake. Sometimes I'm, I cover a wedding cake and you know, there is so much, so much elephant skin, but I know I'm gonna decorate it. You won't be able to see it, but some areas you may see it. So what you can do is to take to make some gunge, they call it gunge, and this is useful for everything, even for if you make a lid or if you make a cake in two parts, if you cover it, this is brilliant. So it's just glue and paste. You bring it to a nice consistency, not too watery, because if it is too watery, then you're gonna get big marks in there. Just soft enough for you to spread. You can even pipe with this. If you mix your paste with water, let's say you have a cake and there is a specific color and you need to pipe, or you have a client that can't have royal icing, 
you can make this with paste and pipe it. So here I've got a nice consistency, so you can see it's just soft peaks. And then you're gonna go, and you're gonna fill that hole. This is better done when the cake is, the, the icing on the cake is completely set. Because then you know you're not gonna ruin the cake. Don't do it to start with, why? Because once you apply this, you can't really go back and try to smooth it. You can't. You have to let it there so it dries completely. But it's a very good way of as well when you have tiny little holes because you had loads of air bubbles, but for example, you don't have time to make real icing or you don't have the color, you don't know how to match the color that you created for the cake. This works very well. And that is the same thing you would do here. Many times I have seen that it's I had elephant skin in there and I would go with my gunge and just fill it up. So those are different ways that you can help you with, um, with your elephant skin. So I hope you have enjoyed it and uh, let me know how you get on. Thank you.